Well, guys, the LSU men's basketball season is slowly coming to an end. Thank the Tigers thankfully, have, thankfully, perhaps. gentlemen, the Tigers have made great strides this season, but have also had some pitfalls along oh, yeah. the way. I'd say so. Ups and downs. This panel of clowns right here discusses <laughs> the Tiger season as a whole. So get ready because the power play starts right now. Hello all and welcome to the Power Play. I'm Pat Gunther he here with Taylor Cure and Johnny Lombardi. Boys, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. I'm I didn't doing know fantastic. Taylor Cure was in the house, but you know what? You're about to be curated <laughs> in this debate about how <laughs> <laughs> basketball. Well, Johnny, uh, first off, your suit isn't going to help you. <laughs> I'm going to upstage you here. Just try to, just try, well, just try well, to be professional. Gentlemen, gentlemen, let's keep it civil. The time is finally <laughs> upon us, so let's get right into the discussion. Okay. The Tigers basketball team is sitting at 18 and 8 this season and 7 and 6 in conference play. <laughs> now, three of their last four games of the season are here at the PMAC, but the Tigers are better on the on the road this year than last year. So the first question for you guys is, what has been their biggest improvement this season? I'll let TC start first. The biggest improvement this season has been road play, but also those Eminem boys, Jordan Mickey and Jarrell Martin, have really stepped up. You had questions after Johnny O'Brien left for the draft. You had questions if they would step up, and they have stepped up. And I think if you look back at the beginning of the season and say 18 and 8 at this point, I'll take that. You know, that's, that's pretty good for this team in Johnny Jones' third year. Johnny, the rebuttal. 18 and 8. Really good enough at this point of the season. I am, I'm, I'm gonna disagree with that, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna agree with Taylor one time here on the show today that I think Jordan Mickey and Jarrell Martin have really established themselves as, you know, two of the best players definitely in the SEC, and they have, they, they have carried LSU at times, but I feel like at times late in games, <coughs> LSU hasn't gotten them the ball, and that's cost LSU games by not getting the ball to Jordan Mickey or Jarrell Martin late in games. But those two guys have definitely been. The two of the biggest bright spots, and I, also, I think Keith Hornsby has surprised yeah. a lot of people. Definitely surprised me, not just with his shooting, but his ability to take the ball in the paint and drive and score. Absolutely, guys. I, I like it. Great answers on both ends. <laughs> but we have to move on to the next topic. The Tigers are just 2-4 and four in their last six games, which does not include that heartbreaker against Kentucky at home and most recently a pretty bad road loss against Texas A&M. Now, this team has shown their potential, but their flaws are glaring. Guys, yeah. So, Johnny, what has been their biggest disappointment this season? And is there any one person to point the finger at? You know, it's, it's hard to say that there's any one person to point the finger at. You know, it's, it's, it's team game, it's sports, it's never just one guy. But, you know, it comes back to coaching. You know, the teams, this team, I feel, is m mentally ready and mentally tough. You know, that's always what you kind of talk about Johnny Jones teams and LSU teams, is that they're mentally tough, they come from behind in games. I mean, the past we've seen LSU come from behind the past two or three years in a lot of games and either lose close at the end or really come back and make an effort and win the game. Last year, it's been the exact opposite. LSU has choked a lot of games late this year in SEC play. I think it's something like five out of their six losses in the SEC have been, they've held a lead with less than four minutes to go in the game. It's been games where LSU has choked leads late, and that shows me that a team that's not really mentally tough down the stretch that is young and, and late in young late in games. Yeah. And that to me has been the biggest disappointment. As we've seen LSU be so mentally tough coming from behind, it's been disappointing to see them choke choke so many games late. Absolutely. And you gotta wonder if that can be attributed to coaching. Now TC, I know you are a big proponent of Johnny <laughs> Jones. So I gotta know, who who well, do you sort of have take the bottom of the blame well, for? Well big proponent, I just think he's changing the culture of LSU basketball. And I think that's one of the reasons we're having this debate is because we have expectations now for the LSU basketball program. Because yeah. Johnny Jones is changing it. I mean, you're bringing in Ben Simmons, the number one recruit next year, Antonio Blakeney. That'll be a top 10 preseason team if Jordan and uh, Jarrell stay. But I, I don't know if you can point the finger at anyone. I do think the, um, the late game um, plays ha have, been, have been bad, have been poor. Um, I think that shows their youth. You know, it is, it is a young team. There's a couple guys, you know, Josh Gray, um, Keith Hornsby, that are that have that weren't playing last year. So that's that's part of it. But I, I don't know if you necessarily can point the finger at anybody. I think the one thing that's encouraging is they have been in every 
basketball game. There's really been no yeah. game they have not been in. So, um, and they've had their, you know, you look at the West Virginia game, they go on the road and win a close game. They've won close games. They've lost close games. The thing is, what will they do these last four or five games? And it's make it or break it, you know. They have five games. This is, this is it. This is the stretch. And I'm, I'm definitely with you there, TC. And you touched upon an interesting point. Ben Simmons, Blake Nee, the, re the recruiting class that we got coming in next year. Yeah. So this team does have some potential. Like you oh, said, yeah. if Martin and Mickey stay, they have some, some potential that they can exhibit down the stretch. So heading into next season, they have the number one overall recruit in the entire basketball world joining the purple and gold. So what do you think this team you know, has going into next season? Well, I mean, if Jordan, uh, Mickey, and Jarrell Martin stay, they got a top, top ten team preseason. And that, I don't know if that's ever happened at LSU basketball, top ten preseason. But, um, you know, then the pressure is on Johnny Jones to really produce and have a team that, you know, goes in deep, deep march, goes Elite Eight, um, stuff like that. So I'm just excited for that. But, I mean, this season, I don't, I don't, I don't want to say they've underachieved, but this season there was an expectation they would make it to the tournament. But they're, they're really they're on par. They, they can still make the tournament. They can still make the tournament. It's just the, the work as a whole has just been a disappointment. You know, and, and as Taylor said earlier in the show, it's good that we now see football expectations at L, or basketball expectations at LSU. But with Simmons and Blakeney coming in next year, if Mickey and Martin stay or just one of those guys stay, you thought Johnny Jones' hot seat was hot with criticism this year. Yeah. If they don't win and produce next year with those guys on the team, it's, we're gonna, there's going to be a lot of trouble in yeah. the basketball program. And yep. going off that, do you think these last couple of games are sort of going to set the pace for them going into next year? Like, is this going to make or break them even for next season? I, I don't know if it make or, makes or breaks. I think if LSU just melts down down the stretch here and just chokes these last five games and do, doesn't get into the tournament, let's say they lose three or five yeah. here down the stretch yeah. and they don't make the tournament, they, they out in the, early in the SEC tournament, I think that really – heightens the criticism going into next season and heightens the pressure even more as if they get in the tournament this year, maybe lose in the first round or maybe win a game, then, okay, LSU did what we wanted, exactly. like we expected, now they can move on. But if they melt down down the stretch here, you're going to have a lot of angry people. I well, think guys, the other, I want to, real quick, I think absolutely. the other thing is um, if they make the tournament this year and say they win around, they go to Sweet 16, um, that'll make Jordan Mickey and Jarrell Martin maybe a little bit more hungrier maybe wanting to come back for next year if they don't make the tournament they lose three of five or whatever yeah those two they're, they're gone that's a good point. They, they, they probably are not going to want to come back but well guys that remains to be seen what the tigers have on the agenda for the rest of the season but that is all the time we have for today for the magnanimous johnny lombardi <coughs> and everyone's favorite tc yeah, i am pat gunther it was fun. thanks for tuning in and we will see you next week